Hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. My name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center. And today we're looking at a 2019 Forest River Shockwave 27RQDX. This is a single slide double axle toy hauler with just under 16 foot of cargo storage capacity. We're gonna look at the four corners look, check out some of the compartments, and then we'll jump inside and see what that has to offer. I got this coach pretty tied up against the fence here, but you can see on this front cap, you do have all these nice LED strips in there, electric awning. That awning does go out quite a fair bit further, but I didn't want to hit the fence. And then it does have that fold up ladder right there, so we'll go a little bit more streamlined against the body. So like most toy haulers, there isn't a crazy amount of storage on this coach, but it does come installed with the onboard gen, 4,000 watt, and then you also have a fuel station. Sewer hose area right there, 10,995 loaded, 2737 of cargo carrying capacity. So what is that, 80, 80, 80, 87, 300, something like that? Don't, don't, don't judge my math. Sorry about that cut, had a couple customers walk up. All right, electric tongue jack, couple propane tanks, single battery, all right there up front. Let's see if we get a better look at all those nice LED strips on this coach. Hard to see them in the daytime. Now your main storage area, and only storage area really, is gonna be right here. And it looks like, I'm trying to tell, it looks like you might be able to access some of that from under the bed. We'll definitely find out here in a second. Power jack down below. A propane connection down there too. Now this is a G series, which I'll show you here when we jump inside on my spec sheet what that exactly means. Has a bunch of extras. All right, DOT code on our tires. I will find one for you. <clears throat> oh, and look at that. No date codes on this side. We'll have to check the other side. Obviously rear levelers. It does have a couple speakers on board. Now, I usually drop down these back so you see how this toy hauler works with that spring assist um, drop down. What am I trying to say? Door? My gosh. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't have enough room between here, but you'll see it on the inside. Now, there's your fuel station right there. Fuel fill. Let's double check that tire, then we'll jump up top. All right, come on, day code 5217. So they're last week of 2017, pretty much 2018's coming up on four years old. I'll meet you up top on the roof. All right, Let's see we got a solar package on board. That is part of that G series. And then a whole bunch of skylights, vents for your bedroom, local TV antenna, all that fun stuff. And we got back of the furnace. 10 gallon water heater, which is part of that G series, black tank flush, somewhere around here, outdoor shower. There you go, that's the exterior. Let's jump inside. All right, two exterior steps going in. Does have a screen door, breaker box right in front of you. This is what you see. Let me step back right in front of those two tables right there, looking forward. And of course, all the way in the rear there, you got your bathroom and your bedroom. Your slide on this coach is right there. You can see, it looks like it's about 24 inches deep, maybe a little bit less. But we're gonna start right at the entry door, going right. You got all your little light controls, TV right there. You got a table that'll go in right in front of that couch to act as a dinette. Some overhead storage and some light reading material and this is where your awning, bed control, slide control, level testers, generator with 204 hours on it. All right there. You have multimedia CD player. So a good amount of storage. Right below all that overhead storage you do have a couple chairs. They don't recline but they do rock. And then you have the little table in the middle. All of those, of course, are removable if you want to store some toys in here. Same with this carpet. When you got tie downs, as you can see under there, you just roll that carpet up, park whatever kind of toy you have. 
Both your couches in the back will lay flat and go up against the wall or turn into a sleeper. Both of those tables are removable. And then you do have one of them big old, pretty much king beds up top that'll drop down and be an additional sleeper. This one does have that steel cable set up for a patio, but it doesn't have the, I guess the fencing that goes around that little deck area, but it does have the nice netting, screens, whatever you want to call it. If you do have it open, you're at somewhere where it's good temperature. But your slide, just all it does has the couch, jackknife couch, and then two storages above, same size, all connected. And then you make your way into the kitchen. Nice big oven. Looks like the 21 inch. You can actually might be able to cook some stuff in there. And then of course, your three burner gas stove top, right by my printouts. We're selling this bad boy for 46 grand. There's some specifications on it. Here's the exact floor plan. As you can see, they're 15 foot, 11 inches. All the way up, they're saying all the way up, pretty much right in front of the refrigerator there. And then just the lower half of this page, some of those standard features and options, that G series right there in the middle is all those extras that I was telling you about. All right. Now we're gonna stay low here for a second. Look at some storage there. You got some nice accent lighting down on the ground. Three of those drawers, except the top ones for silverware. The rest are just drawers. Do have a little backsplash, all pretty much wallpaper. Spice rack area, very nice extension for your sink. It is a single base sink, but look how deep it is. Nice and wide. Now to convection, standard microwave, because you have that oven. And then you got some storage there that goes pretty deep with some shelving that connects to that storage right there. Now, if you're tall, unlike me, you can probably store stuff up there and up there. Dometic three-way fridge and freezer. So that's the main galley area. So making our way back, there's nothing on the walls except for the breaker box and then your thermostats right there before the bedroom. You got your pass-through bathroom, plenty of room in front of the toilet. And then you don't necessarily have a linen closet. It's an additional spice rack in the bathroom. You never know when you need some extra pepper for something you're eating on the toilet. Standard corner shower, but look at the headroom. I can't even jump and touch that probably. And a little medicine cabinet. Vanity with some storage down below. All right. And then this is kind of like a Jack and Jill style bathroom. So you can't walk through here directly into the bedroom, which is a queen bed, 60 by 80. And there should be some storage. Oh yeah, so you can access that. So that's that outside storage compartment that I was thinking you can get to. All right, so on the left side, there's no drawer or anything, but you do have power USB DC all right there. And then your wardrobe there, random storage there and other storage up there but on the right side it has a cool little feature the only thing i really ever say this is meant for is like a laundry chute because that goes right to that outside storage you can see that outside compartment right there so that's the only thing additional the person on the uh left side does have more power hookups than the person on the right they're stuck with 110 what are you gonna do all right let's flip her around here Make our way on out. Now, you do have your solar kind of panel right there in the bedroom. And then just a couple basic opening vents and a backing for a TV hookup right there. Now, I'll put that slide in for you since I got her plugged in to show you what it looks like while you're traveling. Doesn't look crazy different with the slide in, but as you can tell, this 18 to 24 inch slide is in all the way. So when you could, once again, still lay this flat, put it up against the wall, hook it up to those little buckles right there. So you still have pretty much from here all the way over. That is a drive on wheel well too. So it's not gonna crunch under a tire for a side by side. You can get up on there. All right, let's look from the outside too. Now, of course here, this passenger side isn't gonna look really any different at all. But in case you wanted to see it, your driver's side is the main difference. 
Oh, jeez, daggum it. You know, I forgot something. There you go. All right, and that's how it looks, minus that power cord hanging out while you're traveling. If you have any questions, there will be a link to this unit in the description box down below, including all my contact info. So I'm, I'm here to help. If you have anything I can do, I will try my best to help out. Thank you so much for viewing. Hope you guys have a great day.